All right, folks, just bought this motherboard, the Gigabyte UD H610i DDR4 off of Amazon, brand new. We're going to install 13th gen to see if uh, they are currently shipping with updated BIOS. Most likely it will not, and this is a waste of time, but hey, um, I'll follow this up with another video uh, using, I don't know, something ridiculous, maybe an i9-12900KF. So here's our motherboard. Now, installation wise, folks, there's a little triangle there. We're gonna line that up with our CPU. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And, and then just so you can see it, we're gonna rotate it. Now our CPU reading from left to right, if you can see that. Probably can't though. This is so hard to see these. So it's you know reading left to right this way this triangle down here okay so now another way to remember this besides a triangle if you're leading ref to right the IO side is to the left all right and on top of that the CPU can only go in one way so um, don't fight it now I always like to run my fingers around the perimeter uh, you see this gray frame, the green board, and that should pretty much be at the same level. All right. And we drop this down, and it may or may not pop off. If it doesn't, then just click here and remove. Put that in your box so that you have it for later. Now, because of that, sometimes that can be somewhat violent. I always go back, check to make sure my CPU is seated. It is. Now, why did I do that, folks? Well, you don't know how many times people have wrecked motherboards because their CPU has moved ever so slightly. It just popped up a little bit. This movement of dropping this down will absolutely destroy the pins in the motherboard, right? Your CPU might survive, but the motherboard might not. You can look all day on uh, eBay at people that have wrecked the pins in their motherboard. All right, so at this point... I like to put pressure here. Don't put it too close that you're going to get your fingers pinched. Up here somewhat. Drop this down and boom. All right. Now I just had a couple core zones shots in my right elbow. So we are uh, actually a wee bit weaker <laughs> on the right side. All right. We've got that. Eventually we're going to put thermal paste on here. Eventually we'll put some RAM in there. We're going to put one stick in. I think we'll go with a thermal right uh, CPU cooler. This is either the Assassin King 120E. Uh, I'll, I'll verify later which one exactly it is. That could be the Burst Assassin. This one has four heat pipes. So I have three that are almost identical. One has four pipes. One has, excuse me, this one has five. One has six and one has four, all right? Now, these are obviously not completely symmetrical. It almost looks like there's a little bit more space off here, so most likely this is the side we want our CPU fan on. All right. Also, notice this orientation. This is the orientation we want. So when we put our brackets on, which we're going to do here shortly, as soon as I remember where I put them. Uh, so... Interesting enough. So we've got this back plate. If you're going to put this on, let's say permanently, take the tape off. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a complete mess later on. Uh, trying to get these off, you might have to pry it off with a uh, flathead, right? So we're going to line these up, hopefully, with those holes. And should go in there easy enough, which it did. And then drop that back down. So that part's good. All right. Now, we've got our two brackets. And if you remember correctly, we wanted the threaded post to be on this side. All right. So we need our spacers. They'll be the blue ones for LGA 1700. Same with Noctua. Not, you know, most of the brands, it would appear, are using blue spacers for LGA 1700. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop this in and try and hand tighten one side 
And I've got a bit of a cold, folks, so hopefully I don't sound too nasally. And we'll grab a screw for the other side. And then I'm going to just use my hands here to tighten these up. All right, so eventually um, when I get the other one in, we will use a Phillips head to tighten those down further. Let's go ahead and grab our other parts. Two more spacers. Now, folks, take your time doing this. You don't need to be in a huge hurry. Do things right. I say that and I'll probably screw up somewhere, but we try to do these videos honestly without editing. Um, now obviously I could say some, you know, more creative stuff. I could tell some really dumb jokes, but, uh, this is all about, you know, trying to do this professionally, quickly professionally, but not making any mistakes, right? So. All right, so I got the Phillips. Now it's important for these to be tight, but not, you know, hey, let me put my 265 pounds of muscle behind this, right? We don't want to do that. So just a little bit at the end, and that's good. All right. Now I'm going to put thermal paste on here, but uh, just so you guys can see. These two should hopefully line up. And actually, it doesn't look like they're going to line up, folks. That's scary. Okay, it does. All right, so I'm going to use some uh, Vitru paste. Why not? Assuming I have enough, there might not be enough in this tube. Because the truth is, I will probably, you know, do this installation, and we will have to uninstall it shortly, because there's a good chance that uh, this BIOS is not updated. I did have one recently that was, so... Alright, putting the cooler on there, trying to get a couple threads on each side, and also to check to see that I've lined it up, looks like I have, so couple more threads and we want this to spread evenly over the CPU all right now when we go to boot this up folks either it's going to work or it's not all right now if it doesn't you know that means we need a BIOS update which means putting in a 12th gen well what's the cheapest way to do that for this motherboard would be to buy a Celeron that's going to set you back 50 to 60 bucks if you buy a brand new 60 some bucks buy it off ebay you might get it for 50. now they are actually in demand on there so they haven't been they haven't dropped to the 30 dollar range like i would expect i pretty much sold mine for what i paid for it um, all right so we've got that now we may need to put our ram in let us uh check one thing here so we want our CPU cooler on this side. And it looks like we could put the RAM in after the fact. Um, this is the intake side. This is the exhaust side. All right. So let's go ahead and put our RAM in just because it might be easier. One of these is shorter than the other. And I'm going to put it in this slot. And... For this RAM, the label, the nice label faces out, all right? And double click. That's important. All right, so that's in. Now, um, just so I don't forget it, power connector. I always forget where the heck it is. I'm going to have to look at the screen. Okay, that's not the front panel connector. It's probably one of these two over here. Let me 
interesting enough. We might have to get the manual out, folks. Um, let me grab the manual so we can figure out exactly where the front panel connectors are. Because they've been rotated. Um, ITX motherboards are always a little more confusing than regular motherboards. Alright, so here's our manual. And this thing is shaking all over the place. There's FD audio, or HD audio. There it is. So, PCIe 4.0, and then it's that one. Alright. Now it is upside down or turned right from the normal location. So we, have, we still haven't done the CPU fan, but uh, that's coming up, folks. Okay. Front panel connectors are right here. And, man, this is hard to see. So on the bottom, there should be five... So hard to see this, folks. Okay, so you see five pins, and then the other row has four. We want two, th three, and four. All right. Let's just make sure that that is in right. So that should be good. If not, we know we missed a spot. All right. Let's go ahead and put our CPU fan on. So from the unboxing we know that the CPU fan header is back here. Okay. So put that in there. And if we rotate this 90 degrees, we can take up some of the slack on there. Alright. Now I want to put our brackets on. It's always nice to have these on ahead of time, but don't always have to do that. That's in good there. And then we'll get this other one. So always, you know, nice to not have too ridiculously high of RAM so you can put your CPU cooler as low as you want without blocking. And it looks like, you know, there's a little bit of blockage, but not going to be the end of the world. Alright, so that's there, folks. Now, we've got our uh, graphics card. We've already got DisplayPort hooked up to it, okay? GTX 1050 PCI 3.0 card. Going into a 4.0 card, and it will work. So we've got that. 24-pin power from the PSU, all right. Rotate that ever so slightly. Make sure the 20 and the 4 part is clipped in good. Then over here, folks, only a 1x8 for a CPU power connector, right? Um, only one side of this is going to work. And it appears it is that side, all right? So that's clipped in. We'll go ahead and plug in USB and the mouse. Even though, folks, I can tell you, it's probably not going to boot to BIOS. Now, the good thing is, I should be able to um, just remove the CPU and put the 12th gen in. Alright, so this thing's ready to go. Let's turn off some light. Alright, we've got to plug in our power supply, turn this to on. Go ahead and hit that. So it's fired up. Now let's watch our monitor, see if we get anything. Looks like we we're going to be dead. And while that sits and does nothing for a few minutes, I'm going to enjoy a nice. Monster Energy drink. 
in case they ever want to sponsor me. Shit's great for pre-workout. <laughs> All right, so we're not seeing anything. This motherboard does not have a light for CPU. And we have all the essentials hooked up. Okay. I've made hundreds and hundreds of these videos. And I've probably done this thousands of times. We got nothing, folks. So, if you are buying this off Amazon here in April, uh, it does not work without a BIOS update. Alright. So, you can go ahead and... Uh, Shut your shit off right there and replace that with a 12th gen CPU, all right? And that'll be uh, a separate video. Um, I will start completely from the beginning, unfortunately, even though I could just as easily take the CPU cooler out. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll start over from the beginning. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.